That's right, Joyce and Steve. So it was back on March 3rd, and that's when Jillian LaPelle says she was putting her kids in the car there in the driveway when she noticed that somebody was messing with their camper. So she decided to take a picture of the pickup truck that was next to the trailer. But the guy who was involved here got angry, she says, got in that pickup and intentionally ran her over. So today, two months later, she went to court to try to hold him accountable. I keep thinking he's coming around the corner. You can understand Jillian LaPelle's concern. After all, she's come to court to see a man she says ran her over on purpose. In the hallway, they came together again. Scott Thornton was charged with vehicular assault last month, accused of hitting LaPelle, who's now in a wheelchair, recovering from a broken pelvis, hip, and ankle. Thornton had to come back to court, though, because investigators believe new evidence, neighborhood surveillance video, showed he ran LaPelle over on purpose. He looked me in my eyes and proceeded to run me over. LaPelle told the judge her family lives in fear with Thornton on the streets and how her two young boys are still recovering from what happened. My children ran into the street while I was lying there, unable to move with fear all over their faces crying because of what they had just witnessed. Prosecutors told the judge Thornton has been arrested more than 50 times. And with a new assault charge, he faces a much longer potential sentence. So they wanted his bail increased. Thornton told the judge he isn't a harm to anyone, evoking a response from LaPelle's husband, Max. You're trying to kill my wife, you stupid The judge agreed to boost the $100,000 bail to half a million dollars. If Thornton post bail, he will be on a home detention device awaiting trial and can only leave for legal or medical appointments or to go to the grocery store once a week. The lapels say they feel safer already. I don't think anybody's ever really like ready to see somebody who's hurt them, but, um, but I knew I needed to be here today. And so, so that's the reason I came. I didn't come to see him. I came to get justice. Before today, Thornton was facing vehicular assault charges, uh, attempted theft, also hit and run. But this one additional charge, the assault one, could result, the judge says, in a sentence four times as long as the original potential sentence, and that would be just fine with the LaPelle family. Live in Tacoma, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.